Hey there everyone, Max at ePianos here. Today I'm going to be taking you through my first impressions on the new Yamaha PSR SX600. Let's get right into it. One of the main things that stood out to me when I first played this keyboard was the vast amount of uh, different styles and genres you can play to. Um, they are just absolutely endless. Uh, so if I just if I just take you into that, so if we go style at the bottom left, we click enter there, and we we have literally hundreds and hundreds of styles to choose from. Um, and then over here under the styles section, you have <clears throat> Uh, you have like categories, you have seven different categories of styles to choose from. So you have everything from jazz waltz and swing to, to Latin and rumba and bossa novas and everything in between. Uh, it's truly incredible. So I'll, I'll just demonstrate a couple of those for you now. So if I just play a, let's take a jazz waltz, let's play My Way by Frank Sinatra because how can you not love that song? Um, so if I click Latin and Jazz here, and if I then go, let's try Acoustic Jazz, uh, and then you want to press the accompaniment button so that as you play, from this F sharp downwards, you'll play a chord and the whole accompaniment will follow you, which is an incredible feature. It makes you feel like you're playing with a live band or with a full orchestra. Um, with just a click of the button, so can't complain at that, that's amazing. And then you click OTS link over here, which links the two uh, split sections together, and we'll press, let's press intro on the front of it as well, just to kick us off nicely. Okay, now I want to demonstrate uh, some rum, some rumba rhythms uh, that the keyboard has installed in it. So I'm going to play the rumba flamencos uh, style, and I'm going to play a song called Piano Rumba, I believe it's called, um, just to quickly demonstrate the Latin side of things. I'm going to go for variation B because I don't want too much backing on this one. Uh, and yeah, let's see how it goes. So. Lastly, to show off some of the styles that this keyboard has, um, although this can never do it justice because there are literally hundreds, but, but I just want to quickly show off a bossa nova because I really like this style. Those are just some of the themes uh, that you've got on this keyboard. Uh, Disco Fox style on the entertainment section. This one's really fun. Variation C I've gone for.
crazy. There's just endless things you can do in here. At the end there, I demonstrated an ending, an outro option. I just went for ending one, which gives you a nice finish so it's not just like a dead drop. So endless things you can do in here. So the next thing on this keyboard that I really wanted to address was its layout and how Yamaha have so cleverly captured all of the different features this keyboard has. As you can see, there is a whole lot of buttons here to choose from, which can be a little bit overwhelming at first if you, you've never worked with this kind of thing before. Um, I know it took me a, an hour or so to get the hang of it, um, but we're all different and so we all like different things. So there's a lot for Yamaha to consider when making this. But I think overall, considering how much there is to do on this keyboard, the layout um, does a great job at making it as simple as it can for you. The one downside I would say about this keyboard, um, from my point of view, is that it hasn't got a touch screen. It's only controlled by this dialog here and by pressing enter and exit and using all the buttons essentially. The touch screen, there's no touch screen at all. Um, which most of you may not have used one with a touch screen anyway, so that would be completely fine for you. But whereas some of us here at ePianos, we've been able to work with Tyros's and Genos's and they have touch screens. And so if you have used a touch screen before, um, you will find it, you'll, you'll find your need to adjust slightly. So the next thing that I really wanted to touch on about this SX600 is its layout, because there is simply so much you can do on this keyboard. And this obviously means that it has to be laid out in some kind of way where it's understandable um, and easy to control and get your head around. And I think Yamaha have done an excellent job at that because there's no touch screen, which is a little bit unfortunate if you're used to playing with the Tyros's and Genos's that do have that touch screen. It just means you've got to work with this uh, and with the different buttons that are here. But that's completely okay. If you've never played with a touch screen before, you wouldn't even know the difference. So not too much of a big deal. But in terms of layout and how to work your way around the keyboard, I think they've done an excellent job. It's all very straightforward. And, um, and even if you do get a bit lost, there's the owner's manual, which is easy to get your head around and it will definitely show you, um, it will guide you in the right direction. And then there's also videos. We've got a video on the SX600 on our website, which you can have a look at, which will give you a much clearer understanding of how to work the keyboard. So the last thing I wanted to look at was the speakers. I think they're great and they do an amazing job at capturing all the sounds that this keyboard has. I'm just going to play an orchestra big band style. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of Autumn Leaves so you can get the idea of what these speakers are really capable of handling. So. So that was full on big band and it just almost sounds like you're, you're there. There's no clipping, There's, the speakers are capable of capturing all the drums and the punchy snare drums and it really doesn't fail you. So I'm really impressed with the speakers on this instrument. So this has been my first impression of the Yamaha PSR SX600. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you found this video helpful and useful. Make sure you subscribe to our mailing list for all of our weekly newsletters and updates and weekly info. And make sure you check out our website for all our latest videos, our latest deals and our quality secondhand products. See you on the next video. Bye for now.